Now we're gonna remove it. It's I found it easier to take this the back off uh, in order to take the board out. So there's two screws. There's one here and there's also another one here between the board and the and the actual plastic. So remove this screw first, the one right next to your power. Okay. Remove that one. And also find a small screwdriver. This is a smaller screw. So stick that between here. Right here. You can you can lift this up this way and take out the board, but I found it easier to do this. And then unscrew it. Once you find the screw, unscrew the screwdriver, the screw. It's going to be a little tight. Just be careful, very careful. And again, this this is only for people that are feel comfortable with doing this and don't need to now lift up and you should be able to remove it there we go so this is off now you just replace the screw back here and I know there was another screw that came out Take it out right now. Now we should be able to lift this. I found it easier to lift the whole thing. Don't lift the board because if you lift the board, you're gonna damage the, the logic board or the circuit. Lift, lift the whole thing, including the the heat sink or the the metal portion of the of the board, and lift up and away. <clears throat> this will expose the board. Now, there we go. Now you see here's the two heat sinks. Here's the video chips, which we will reflow. Do or perform a reflow on them and put them back in. Check your fan. If you're gonna replace a fan, do it now. And Let's, let me remove this from this. This is going to be easier this way. Lift up a little bit. Sometimes it's going to be a little tougher. I... Now, these are the chips you're going to reflow. Um, make sure to put flux, liquid flux around the chips before you use the heat gun to reflow the chips. Uh, if, you're, if you don't feel comfortable with doing this, and you would like us to do it, we, are, we would be more than happy to do it for you for a fee. Contact us, uh, our phone number, our website information uh, will be at the bottom, at the beginning of the video, at the end of the video, also you can email me uh, and I will be more than happy to respond back to give, me, give you a price on, on what we would charge to do this for you. It's, it's, it's kind of a tricky. Make sure that when you handle the board, handle it from the edges because you could actually damage the circuits all the ICs on the on the unit and this is something that can only be done by a professional so remember to take it apart is mostly in my book the easy part putting it back together is the hard part so like I said again if you don't feel comfortable doing this and you would like us to do it contact us we will also have a, a price on our website. Uh, again, this is this will end the tutorial on how to remove the logic board from a PlayStation 3 40 gig hard drive. Uh, I know that uh, there's a play there's a 60 gig and I believe an 80 gig and 160 gig uh, PlayStation out there. Now I don't know if the difference is um, it's different on how to take it apart, but. Um, Again, second video. Hopefully it would help you, some people out there. Uh, if you have questions, don't hesitate to contact me via email. It would be easier. And I'll be more than happy to reply back if I have some time.
thank you and have a great day